Right. can be seen as the acceptable face of con games. It's a bet that's usually only got one outcome. Groups of people are, are ideal for proposition bets, anywhere where groups of people gather. Because if you put a proposition bet out and there's five or six people there, you're guaranteed to have one or two takers. Alex has gathered five or six people around in order to put his latest proposition bet into play. Our cameras are hidden around the pub to capture the action. We need uh, two shot glasses. Two shot whiskey. That's great. We're going to fill that up. And some water. Have you got some water? Yeah, sure. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we'll fill that up to the brim there. This is the bet. Okay. The idea is to get the whiskey into the water glass and the water into the whiskey glass. But yeah. you can't use an extra glass, you can't use a straw, mm -hmm. and you can't use your mouth. All right? But it can be done. How much money have you got on you? Have you got anything? Look. Uh, tenner. Oh, wait, a no. tenner? <laughs> oh, you're on. <laughs> I am going to use something. I'm going to use. Uh, uh, I'm going to use my driver's license. No holes in the driver's license. Okay. Look. Driver's license goes on top of the whiskey. There you go. And they're changing. Amazingly, the whiskey and water are actually swapping glasses. With the whiskey and water completely swapped, Alex has won his bet and is a tenner richer. Making the whiskey and the water change glasses is quite an interesting one. Uh, it's just pure physics. It's density. The water is heavier than the whiskey. So when you turn the glasses upside down, the water forces itself into the whiskey glass, thus making the whiskey shoot up into the water glass. And um, that's exactly how it works. <laughs>